Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we will keep looking at two more modifiers. We're gonna see chamfer and fillets. Let me start saying that when uh, you draw a rectangle uh, using B solid, uh, we have seen it already how to change uh, each single corner and so add chamfer or fillets to it. But uh, most probably if you are importing a rectangle from a DXF drawing or any other CAD software, it will come in like a polyline in most cases. At this point what we can do in order to create fillets or chamfers for the corners because if I double click on the geometry the only thing I can do is just to move the position of the corners and this is not what I want to do. So we can use chamfer At this point we can specify the chamfer dimension 1 and 2 that basically will be the distance from the corner and uh, if 10 is ok you select the two geometries between which you want the chamfer. Let's uh, create another example on the opposite corner because uh, you are allowed to specify different uh, uh, distances from the corner because maybe your chamfer doesn't have to be 45 degrees. It can be, you know, any angle you want. So let's double one of the distances here. Of course the dimension 1 is gonna be taken for the first geometry you select and the dimension 2 will be taken for the other. See from the corner this is 20 millimeter in my case because I'm using the software in metric and this is 10. So it's not a 45 degree anymore like this one. There was 10, 10. At this point, let's go quickly back. So we're gonna use our undo, 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 just to, to get uh, the four sharp corners uh, like we had originally. And Remember that anytime you see a little uh, arrow here pointing to the right uh, is because there are uh, different uh, options. So the second option for the chamfer is to uh, automatically create the chamfer for uh, the entire geometry. So in this case it will be not possible to specify you know something different for each corner but they will be all the same. In order to use that function we need to select the geometry first, go here in the menu and select automatic chamfer. As you can see I already got the four chamfers, of course considering the default parameters that are 2020. If I want to change something, again Sorry. If I want to change something I can use 40 and you know whatever it is. I'm gonna undo one more time so we can go to the next and see how uh, the fillet works which is pretty much uh, the same thing if we use uh, radius so fillet we can uh, apply the fillet 
specifying the radius and we can do something different for each corner so this one 25 the next we can do 50 the next 100 or what it is whatever it is and keep uh, going otherwise same thing we have the arrow pointing right so there are different options we can select the geometry and apply the fillets for all four corners in once but in this case they all four will be the same the third option we have in fillet is uh, render tangents so it's gonna make two geometries tangent to each other so let's draw something up here Now, I'm not really sure the arcs will be tangent to each other. Actually, if I zoom in, I can see that it's not. In this case, we can uh, use the tangency here in order to select the two geometries. And now I know it will be perfectly tangent. I hope this has been helpful for you. Next time we will uh, see the array repetition that can be rectangular or circular and uh, divide in intersection and eliminate overlaps. See you at the next video.